Everard is performing well, um, is developing well in the, let's say, BRICS country where um, uh, market is, is well developing, is growing, well, uh, where uh, customers have um, an average income that is increasing, um, is uh, uh, keeping its position in, uh, in the European markets that are a bit more suffering. And in Italy, in particular, Italy is a, is a, is a market that is in, in, this, in this phase of, uh, of economics, uh, it, it's suffering a bit, is, is suffering a bit more. Uh, all over, the, the results are anyway positive. Uh, definitely, the brand is a brand that is more uh, focused on the Western con consumers, so the European consumers more than the new consumers on uh, on uh, on other markets, um, and and we benefit less from tourism in Europe than other brands. Uh, but this is a choice. Uh, we we want to, to have our focus on our collection. We do not want to change the DNA of the company. So we prefer to remain focused on our traditional and historical consumer. In terms of quantities, yeah. uh, this year we will increase by um, around 1,000 pieces our production to around 16,500 pieces. Uh, what will happen in the next years, our purpose is to increase in, a, in an average quantity that can be supported by our structure because we, we want to follow all the developments we want to keep an eye carefully to the distribution. So uh, we will never increase our distribution by an average percentage higher than 10%. On the other side, we must understand how much in terms of uh, movements we will have from our suppliers. And do you have any uh, concerns, any worries on that side? The concerns come from the fact that it's not clear yet what will be the policy on this matter. Uh, we all know that uh, Comco at the end didn't decide yet. Some retailers often choose to buy uh, brands belonging to groups via grey market without the obligation, without the obligation to buy the whole collection. So this, I think, can affect in the medium term the sales of, of big groups, but, but anyway, it's a slow process. Mm. And uh, often retailers do not have the courage to, to leave a brand or to, to abandon one brand that has decided to leave the, the shop, but they keep on trying to sell it. And it's not easy for independent brands to find the, the place in these windows. We knew it would have been uh, not an immediate, an immediate process with immediate results. Only in 2010 we, we decided to come out with a, a real feminine watch. We perfectly know that on the market there are brands very well established, uh, m much more known than us on the ladies watch and uh, uh, it would have not been easy to, to, to be successful with this product. But definitely it's not yet a, a big part of our collection in the sense that we still remain a brand for men mm -hmm. and we want women to buy our products because they appreciate the, our products on the men wrist.